Okay, I'm going to give you a quick uh, overview on how easy it is to uh, graph on the Desmos uh, online graphing calculator. So let's start with a, a regular explicit function, y equals 3x minus 3. Uh, very straightforward, just type it in, uh, hit enter, and you're ready to put a new function in. We can actually enter things implicitly as well. So I can actually put in 3x plus 2y y, uh, equals 12. And that works out fine uh, also. Um, I like really like the feature that uh, it, it lets you highlight important points. Uh, for example, intersections with axes and other lines. And you can click on those points and uh, they are, you know, they stay there. Uh, you can actually click them off as well. I really like that feature. Uh, I also like the feature that you can also include a table of values. So if I drop down this list and choose table, I can put uh, figures in there, but I, I can actually even put an equation in here. So I can put the equals 3x minus 3, and uh, you can see that as I put x values in, uh, it plots y that the, the points and calculates the y values. Now another slick feature uh, here is the ability to use uh, sliders. And so I'm going to just change this 3 to a b to represent a slider, and it, it's asking, actually asking me if I want to make that a slider, and I can. And you can see that as I do that, it now lets me choose uh, the value dynamically for the, uh, the B value in this case. It probably it should be plus B, but you know. Uh, we can also change the step value, so I can change that to step one. And so now uh, it's a little bit more um, in line with putting uh, points in. And I can actually even change that in my table if I put the B in there, uh, you'll notice that now the points are actually the same points that are on that line. So it's a really neat feature. And one of the other nice features uh, that the Desmos people have incorporated, uh, if you go onto their main page, uh, on their site they actually have some interactive tutorials here. So just add sliders, tables of data. And so if you actually uh, go to those. So this is the one for making sliders. It is actually an interactive tutorial. So it's telling me put in y equals mx plus b. Uh, and it's recognizing them m and b as sliders. So I'm going to choose all. And right away it's giving me instructions to drag these things. And I can do that. And I can go hands free. And this little interactive demo is done uh, in five seconds. It's, it's very, very quick. And so there's a similar one for creating tables. Very short and sweet. Uh, so let's make a scatter plot. Click the Add New. So click Table. And it's giving me instructions along the way. So I'm putting numbers in. Uh, two and two and let's put one more uh, since it's asking me. And one. And now it's asking me. I can choose and click and hold and choose to connect those via a line and uh, click anywhere to exit drawing options. So again, really nice quick tutorials on, on how to use the Desmos graphing calculator. So uh, another last feature before we, uh, we finish here is uh, if you create an account uh, on the graphing calculator, you can actually uh, save your sketches and share that sketch to, for example, I can share this uh, with the rest of the world. Now this is a link for this particular sketch. Uh, I can uh, save as the sketch and I can keep track of all the, the sketches that I'm using. So really nice tool. Uh, I really, uh, really think it's a really slick tool. It comes in uh, uh, online form. It works online on the iPad, but there is a separate uh, iPad app as well, uh, which will allow you to use the Desmos app even if you don't have an internet connection. So, uh, really nice app all around.